16 degrees initial, 675 RPM. Well now we'll see what the total centrifugal advance is. Right at 30 degrees. With the vacuum advance hooked up at idle. Now idling at 890 RPM, 35 degrees, that's a lot. And it goes to 49 total, which, which is about right. Going to recurve the distributor for the formula today. I have a Moroso curve kit. Has uh, the weights. Has a limiter bushing, which I probably won't use. And advanced springs to bring the curve in at different RPMs. I also have an Excel adjustable vacuum canister where I can set my vacuum advance to a value I want. I think I'm going to set it to around 49 or 50 degrees, total advance. I'm going to try to set the distributor up for about 22 degrees, 24 degrees. I want to run about 12 degrees initial with 34 to 36 degrees total advance. I'm hoping the 9.5 to 1 motor with iron heads can handle that much uh, centrifugal advance with 91 octane fuel. I've got to pull the distributor shaft to uh, take the limiter bushing out. So what I have to do is drive the roll pin out of the shaft, remove the distributor gear, then I can pull the shaft out. And uh, here you can see the lim limiter bushing is, well, it's been, it's, it's just crumbling away. So we'll get that cleaned up, clean the shaft, probably take a little scotch right down the shaft and get some of this, well, some of this carbon off of it so everything slides back together well. And we'll give it a good cleaning. And then we'll take it from there. With my setup, it appears that the slot here is limiting my total mechanical advance. So what I'm going to need to do is open this slot up a little bit more. That'll allow the 
a little more mechanical advance in the distributor. So that's next. So I'll open this up and I'll do it a little bit at a time, take measurement, and continue. The Excel vacuum canister has been installed, and uh, this distributor came with a Pertronics Igniter 3, which has a built in rev limiter. And I may or may not set that. If I did set it, I'd probably set it for 5700 RPM. But I may just leave it wherever it's set right now. Either that or turn it, I think, fully counterclockwise deactivates it. Taking the distributor shaft, cleaned it uh, down here where it was scored a bit with some 600 grit sandpaper. And took scotch bright to the rest of it and cleaned it up. It has a real light coat of lithium grease on it right now. And the limiter bushing has been removed. And the advanced plate and the uh, eh, reluctor, if that's what you want to call it, it's the points cam. Cleaned that up a bit. There's some, there's a little bit of rust on it. But I think that's going to be okay. It's not going to affect the advance weights. Ended up elongating the advance slot here so the distributor would have more mechanical advance. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Moroso weights. So I'm going to put it back together and just see what we got. I've installed the lightest springs in the curve kit and I did that because it will allow me to check full mechanical advance at a lower RPM and what I may do is you know use a mixture of springs medium light medium medium and I'll just see where the curve comes in I'll probably have full advance come in around 3000 RPM After the uh, mechanical advance is checked, then I'll be able to go and adjust the vacuum advance. And it uses an Allen wrench that goes inside the canister, and there's an adjustment in there where you can uh, counterclockwise, I believe, limits the advance and clockwise increases the advance. And I'll have to check that to be sure it could be just the opposite. But I want to set the advance up for total advance, you know, somewhere 46, 48 degrees. So I'm going to put it back in the car, we'll get it fired up, get the initial timing set, and then we'll see what we got. RPM, uh, 13 degrees initial. And 36 total. So that's uh, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. The vacuum advance hooked up, 730 RPM. 
to 27 degrees. And full advance is 48 degrees, so it's just about where I want it to be. I'm pretty happy with the full setup here, the adjustable vacuum canister and the recurve distributor. I think we'll call that good.